Molly. I ran ready to share scientific knowledge with Molly. Iran would like to share research and technology with Molly. During a visit to Tehran on Monday, Malian Minister of Higher Education and Scientific Research, Amadou Keita, met with his Iranian counterpart, Minister of Science, Research and Technology, Mohammed Ali Zofigo, where Zofigo said that, quote, Iran is ready to expand its ties and cooperate with Mali and various fields, unquote, according to Act to Cameroon. Keita said he would like to see Iran share its, quote, experiences in all scientific fields, calling on Iran to establish universities and technology centers in his country, unquote, according to Act to Cameroon. Zofigo also informed Keita of how Iran, quote, has been among top nations in many scientific fields, such as nuclear defense industries, nanotechnology, biotechnology, chemistry, unquote, according to Kahan News. Guinea. Guinea demands iron ore mining companies produce aluminum locally. The government of Guinea has ordered Rio Tinto and winning consortium Simandu to cease operations at the Simandu iron ore mine. On June 19th, the government gave the two companies 14 days to commit to details involving construction of the mine and infrastructure, including building a 670-kilometer, 416-mile railway from the project site to a new deepwater port, according to NS Energy. The railway is expected to cost $15 billion, according to NS Energy. Samandu Iron Ore Project is in the Samandu Mountain Range in southeastern Guinea. Junta leader Colonel Mamadi Dumbuya also gave the companies that extract bauxite that are involved in the Iron Ore Project until May 2022 to submit plans for transforming the bauxite into alumina and aluminum to add value instead of exporting raw materials, but none has yet to produce any plans to the government, according to Guinea News. According to NS Energy, the site is estimated to have the world's largest untapped high-grade iron ore deposits. Rio Tinto owns 45% of the project, Chinalcao owns 40% and the Guinean government owns 15% according to NS Energy. Guinea has 40% of the world's bauxite reserves according to Guinea News. Angola, Shisekedi and Kagame to meet Lorenzo in Luanda. As tensions between Kinshasa and Kigali rise, President Shisekedi and President Kagame have agreed to meet in Angola to try to settle their differences. The meeting is scheduled for Wednesday, July 6th, and will be hosted by Angolan President João Lorenzo in the capital, Luanda, according to Act 2 Cameroon. Recently, Congolese President Shisekedi accused Rwanda of supporting the M23 insurgents who captured a strategic border training town just weeks ago. Rwandan President Kagame has denied supporting the M23 insurgents whose military capabilities have increased exponentially recently. Uganda. Uganda adopts Key Swahili as an official language. On Tuesday, July 5, 2022, the Uganda cabinet made Key Swahili an official language and a compulsory subject in primary and secondary schools. In addition, the government will implement key Swahili training programs for parliament, the cabinet, and the media, according to the East African. Key Swahili is the most spoken language in Africa being spoken from Southern Somalia, Eastern DRC, Malawi, Zambia, Mozambique, the Comoros Islands, to South Sudan, according to the East African. 
According to Daily Monitor, Kiswahili is spoken by more than 200 million people. Kiswahili is a combination of Bantu languages and Arabic. Kiswahili is increasingly being used online.